They're like, hey, uh, we brought back your your guy. We kind of felt bad. Ooh, that's a great spot for a Pairi Desa. Sorry if I'm destroying the pronunciation of that. I assume that I am. Let's see, and we can, you can see these tacks here. Oh, there's those knights. You can see we can um, take Halifax. We can surround it with just two units. So that is the plan for taking Halifax. Though uh, it may be slow going because we need to stop and heal. I'm actually just going to heal right on the spot. And um, let's see. Yeah, we'll heal the catapult up too. Actually, let's move the catapult out of the way so that we can get this. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I did not need to move the catapult. Okay, well, that one archer <laughs> from uh, Coupe went running. Maybe I can um, make him give me some money. Wait, I thought you want peace? Don't you want peace though? Like, what do you, what do you mean? Okay. Well, I guess. Oh, because it's still it's still the emergency. I forgot this emergency was even happening. I still get a I get a plus two strength after this. It's wild. Um, two hundred and forty four against me, huh? Yikes, that's going to take a while to wear off. Okay. Oh. Oh, let's see. Oh, a war deck. Daruga. That's Taruga. Okay, see, Halifax has uh, walls now. That sucks. Um, because I do need to stop and heal, like I was saying. Um, so let's kill off the last vestiges of Canada's army, I think, while I secure this hold on Toronto. Because Canada is probably going to try to throw a couple knights at this. Um, and you can see my army is just increasing in power dramatically here just simply by gaining health in the standing still. We went from 680 to 720. We're going to stand still again. Um, well, actually, no, we're not going to stand quite still. We're going to move that guy there. And then stand still. <laughs> For the most part. Uh, oh, yes, and I will move these archers forward. We are going to upgrade them. I think this one. Um, do I have a card? I wonder if I have that card to cheapen discounts. Isn't that mercenaries? No. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't have mercenaries yet. I'm going towards monarchy. So we might as well upgrade. Now I have a crossbowman, and that's good. <coughs> crossbowmen are strong. This man at arms is fully healed now. That's great. Um, and we have a trade route that we can send out. So I think it would be good to actually send this to Elsund. We want to help Elsund get kicked off. So let's do that. And this guy, we kind of want to run away. Oh, right. I can just put that. Oh, oh that is that is a, a not a barbarian horseman. That is that is just a horseman. Hmm. Well, that's fine. 
really not the end of the world. We've got this immortal after all. Okay, that's good. Our scout fully healed. Um, <laughs> the scout is getting mercilessly chased, <laughs> but it is alive for now. Coursers coming out of uh, the Maori. Yikes. Let me get this friendship declaration here. Are you at war right now? Well, uh, they're beating up Byzantine. I should let them beat up the Byzantines. That seems fine. I was thinking about asking them to join in on the war with me against Canada. I wouldn't mind if they took a couple of these cities. And then we had a loyalty battle over it afterwards. I think that would be good. <laughs> Could be interesting at least. Finally got this uh, vampire up here to the front lines. That's huge. They can really stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with those knights. And we've got pikemen. I called it. We had to, we we're going to have to deal with knights. We're going to need pikemen. So actually, maybe a change of change of plans. We do. <laughs> After the siege tower, uh, we get a, uh, a pikeman out here to really just knock these knights down. Um, 43 gold is a pathetic amount, so we're not going to do that. Let's ask for these instead. They have no money. Um, that's why. Okay, well, sure. In that case, yeah, thanks. That's surprising. No money. Okay. Do they have cities? They have cities. I wonder what's going on there. Building too large of a military, perhaps. Okay, so we want to keep Victoria. That's huge. And this, I think, potentially gets us in reach of Vancouver's in terms of loyalty. 10? Uh, I don't think we quite can. Uh, it'd be hard to flip. We, maybe if we bring our governors over. We only have one. We only have two governors. Oh, yikes. Um, so let's put one in Toronto and see how the loyalty thing... How does, how does this change? Hmm. I wonder if that doesn't update until later? Maybe when the, the governor gets there? And I don't have entertainment complexes up here yet. I could build entertainment complexes up here and try to flip uh, these cities with bread and circuses. It's definitely within striking distance. Could also try to just outgrow uh, these cities. That could be another thing. Interesting. We've got some aqueduct locations here. You can definitely see plopping an aqueduct like right there. Um, maybe ripping out this cattle. Uh, I'm not sure, <clears throat> but this city is decent. It's decent. Let's get, uh, we're going to need the food and walls, though, to put on loyalty pressure, and Canada is mad, so they're probably going to try to take it right back. Uh, so I kind of want to move something down here. Hopefully this uh, heavy chariot doesn't stand right there, because that would be uh, really inconvenient. Okay, so we're up to 813. We healed another, like, 90 just from standing still. <clears throat> so that's great. Let's go ahead and start putting on the pressure now that our military is healed back up. Uh, let's see. So that guy is immediately knocked way down, but it's okay because uh, he can only really feasibly take so much damage in one turn <clears throat> because we are going to put more pressure on this knight. Um, the knight now has is, is in the zone of control. Uh, and likewise, <coughs> this man at arms probably going to die, but that's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. It is a level three knight or level three man at arms coming up against a knight. Um, and Canada can only build so many of those. They probably only have two right now, and one of them is in Halifax. Um, you know, they don't seem to have anything in their other cities. 
So this is the last vestiges of their army. If we lose a unit um, for a knight, that is fantastic. Also, um, it's possible that uh, that knight will just walk away, that it won't actually attack. Um, let's do this. Because it, if, if it moves into this space, it would definitely die the next turn. Like, there's no escape for it. So it would definitely be Canada deciding to trade away one of its most valuable units at this time. I really want to get governor titles. I feel like I should prioritize building a, um, a governor complex, a government complex somewhere, because having a couple of governors here would make a big difference. Um, let's see. So let's see what Canada does next turn. Um, we can't quite upgrade this yet, so hold that guy back. Move up with this. Okay, and we've got another really good man-at-arms there at level 4. And you can see our army is just huge. You know, we've got this big army. It's If we take a couple losses, it's fine. We'll just smoke about it. Have a moment of silence and move on. Let's see. All right, here we can either plop down a Pairi Deza or a mine. Um, do we have any districts planned here? Let's see. We've got the industrial zone there, so we don't really plan any districts here. Yeah, let's go ahead and build a mine. Might as well just improve a tile somewhere. Uh, let's see, we can also, I think we can get, yes, a settler with faith. Uh, the power of that monumentality golden age really showing there. Uh, so let's see, we are a ways off, pardon, ways off of, uh, you know, maybe we actually prioritize this. Let's do this. Get both of those pretty close together. Um, we're a ways off of that uh, city here. So I think let's send this settler uh, inwards to settle here. Um, we could also send them, say, down here. I think this could be a really good option, setting up like a coastal city or this southern city here, but we can do that later. Um, I think I'm more focused on developing this central area. There's potentially some really great districts here, um, and there's a much-needed dam that must go down. Let's see. So I can't actually do an attack from here. So I have to move across. These hills are really getting in the way. I mean, you can see I'm just going to put Elson this uh, trade route for the city. I'm just going to pick production. Um, <clears throat> so we've got, looks like Christiansen is the place where we can get the most production from. So we'll do a domestic trade route there. Um, we're going to send this builder here and just fall asleep because that tile is probably coming soon. Um, well, it's a desert tile, actually. One, two, three. Starting to get those. So I think we might actually start getting these uh, coastal tiles first. Hmm. So it might be worth buying that tile. Or, you know, let's actually just build a farm. Instead of spending our valuable, valuable coins there um, for a fairly good tile improvement that we'll be able to get eventually. Let's just wait on that and do something more important. Oh, I met somebody. Mapuche. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's see. So they have a very small army. They don't like me. Um, they would Sample hospitality, that's fine. Yeah, let me send him a delegation. Um, it's probably just because I'm a warmonger that they don't like me. Um, let's see. Yeah, so it, once these, uh, wait, are they? Yeah, they're a different secret society too, so that really can throw a wrench in diplomacy as well. I like that secret society um, mode because without it, I feel like it's a little bit too easy to win over. Um, it's a little bit too easy to win over all of the AIs and create like an international league of super friends and coast through the late game. So I would, I, I like that. Uh, the 
rifts are formed along the cult or secret society lines. Makes the game a little bit more dynamic. Let's see, oops. Oh, that's better. Okay. Ah, oh, man. Well, yeah, I had a feeling that scout was going to go down. Oh, okay. So the knight trades for the man at arms. Um, and you can see uh, our man at arms just barely hangs on because of that. That's great. Um, so I, unfortunately, I don't think we can get a kill for our vampires here. I think uh, neither of these can pick up this kill. Yep. So we're just going to have to use uh, our normal units. Let's see, are either of these close to leveling? So they've been ahead of me in science for a while. I'm just going to get a research alliance with them for now. Um, let's see, will you pay me? I guess. Oh, you know, actually. Aw, oh, they won't give it to me. Mm. Nope. Okay, well, just give me some gold then. Okay, so this, I think, is a little bit of era score. Um, and we get an alliance. Get a civic boost. Lautaro wants to buy some stuff. Um, oh, no. Um, what's this? Oh, oh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to buy these luxuries off Mapuche, if this would work. Sure. Okay. And these guys just aren't going to sell me stuff. Like, I can try to buy it, but they won't sell it to me. I can offer them, like, absurd quantities of money, but I really don't want to do that. Unless I have to, and I do not. Hmm. Okay, so Susa has completed this preserve, and you can see, boom, we get extra science here. So that's great. That's producing five science and five faith. Um, or wait, <coughs> math. Yeah. Yeah. Four science plus the one from the preserve. Yes. So it is five and five. That's good. Um, for a second, I thought I forgot how to count. Uh, and we've got this uh, encampment here. So I feel like we should be producing a military unit with this city. We want to make some kind of military unit. And uh, one of the military units that we've been struggling to get out, that I've been wanting for a while, is a skirmisher. Uh, so let's actually take one of these out of the queue here. And take one of these out of the queue here. I think this will be enough skirmishers for now. And then we can develop in, uh, into our districts. We need some amenities, and we might as well slap in the culture while we're at it. Um, OK, great. We've got this uh, encampment here at Mitla. Let's get a barracks. <coughs> I don't think I want an aqueduct here just yet. Uh, we're OK on housing. I probably will build one. Let's see. Uh, in fact, I may have even planned one, but for now, we're going to build a pikeman. Um, after that barracks. In fact, forget about these. We're going to make pikemen. Yes, because we're going to be facing more knights, <coughs> and those are going to be crucial. Uh, likewise, can I upgrade this? I can. We now have a pikeman. So that is going to be crucial. Let's see, I think this is a good call. Um, that way we can move our stronger unit here. Step them forward. I think we want to go ahead and take this. 
fortify out so that we can fortify safely right here. Um, we're not going to step this siege tower forward because we're not actually going to attack in yet. Uh, we aren't quite in position to do that. This guy is really hurt. In fact, I'm going to pull this guy all the way back. Um, that way we can really get ready. In fact, no, let's move in. Let's move in. I've got the vampire here. Um, and I've got a catapult on the road. So I'll be able to move that catapult into position next turn. I think, I don't know if we'll be able to attack with the catapult from here. In fact, I kind of doubt it. But I suppose we'll find out. And um, we're just going to push in with to the side and try to wrap around, try to get around to the back of Halifax. And this may not work. Um, it may prove a struggle. We may lose some units for trying to do it. But we will get there. Um, it's probably going to be a bit of a meat grinder. This is a two, uh, This is, or rather, this is a one tile wide gap that we need to get onto and through across a river and it's all hills. Um, so it, 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 the prognosis is not great, but what, the odds of us succeeding are virtually guaranteed um, because he has practically no army and his walls are level one walls. They're, they're not even um, med medieval walls. He just built them. So we're in good shape, I think. Um, we do, of course, want to stay on the, the offensive here. We can't really afford to take our feet off the gas. Let's see, there we go. Oh, that's good. I was worried about that. Uh, so let's keep on applying pressure. I'm going to move this archer all the way out of the way because I'm not going to upgrade it for a minute. I'll do the same thing back here, actually. Just keep these guys on alert for a bit. <clears throat> and we're going to fortify here for now. Get that one turn of fortification. And move on. Okay, so here we get our settler back. That's great. Um, and I'm just going to move towards this region and try to take out that uh, barbarian encampment. I didn't even realize that was there, but I definitely want it gone. That's probably where those boats came from, too. Let's check our policies. Um, do we have anything to influence loyalty a bit more? Um, I don't think so. We could get amenities, I guess. Um, some housing might be nice. Minus 14 production seems not good. Plus 20 gold could be good. I think we're okay on gold, and plus 20 science is better. Um, and we're not making defensive buildings, though, so we could definitely do that. Yeah, I think this is what we should do, since we're not actually making walls right now, because we uh, just beat the tar out of Canada. Don't need Le Mesa anymore. Losses is gone. We need amenities, yeah. Hmm. So I need people to stop being angry at me. But uh, they are at war with me because of a military emergency. For just a few more turns, and then we'll be able to make peace at least with the Maori. I plan on trying to conquer Canada. If we can get all this science, I mean, 139, even if we're just getting a, a portion of that, uh, that is so gigantic. Um, so let's see, will you give me other cities? <laughs> um, no. Okay, well then, no, you can't have peace. Um, yeah, see, I really, you gotta give me Halifax and Vancouver. Um, <laughs> right, I have some destruction notes. Very good. If you've never tried these delightful little nuts, they're great. Very earthy and savory. Okay, we can repair this wall. It's interesting that um, we could get this buto. Um, that could be good. Good. I think we should get walls first. Hmm. <coughs> 
Oh, you know, this probably sounds better, doesn't it? Let me check. Okay, does this sound better, maybe? Okay, my Does this sound better, maybe? Yeah, it does, actually. It's sounding terrible. Okay, my Does this sound better, maybe? Yeah, it does, actually. That's good. Sorry about the feedback loop there. You are not on drugs. That is just my phone. <clears throat> and uh, we are munching on a little pistachio. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We'll do that. That'll be good. Well, I kind of want this vampire to get out of my way. So I'm going to attack with it, even though it dies, so that um, I can move. Mm -hmm. No. If we go to the left, to the right, I mean, we go this way. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. I don't think the catapult can step up. I want to get a pikeman on the front line. That's going to take a while, though. <laughs> We've got to duke it out with these knights. Trade out. I think we could peace out. I think that might be a good move. Mm -hmm. So close, though. I feel like if we could just walk up to Halifax. But the timing hasn't been there because of these knights. You should just be patient. You should be patient. Do this. Oops. Hmm. So that's potentially a way. We could get a pikeman on the front lines, but I would have to find some gold. I don't know where that gold is. <clears throat> Let's move that crossbowman there. So that they can target the uh, the knight, I think I think the knight is going to step up to the man at arms or the catapult, but probably the man at arms. <laughs> I'm going to feed this man at arms to the meat grinder. Good pistachio. That's yummy. Mm -hmm. Here. And here. So 
I could, in theory, attack that somehow. But I don't want to. I'm going to fortify. Because I think it's probably going to get attacked. Okay, um, sir, you not? Are you capable of not? Oh, oh right, I'm not at war. I was thinking I was still at war with the Maori. Oh wait, I am still at war with the Maori. What? No. Get out of my face. Okay, well they're, I guess, being problematic. Dang. Um, well, this is a development. They have gotten open borders and passed through Greece into my territory. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I feel like it would be good if I could sick Greece on the Maori, will you join against Coupe? No? Hmm. We gotta get those siege towers through safely. I'm not sure exactly how. Oh, did I never put these down? Okay, so there's that plus four campus going in. It said plus two, but once this preserve finishes up, it'll be a plus four. Okay. We can start another district in a cod. Um, let's see. If we have one planned. I think I had a planned district here. Yeah. <clears throat> and lock in the cost of that entertainment complex now. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's see, we can do another district in skiing as well. Probably going to queue up this library. Let's see what else we can fit in. Where? We could go encampment somewhere. That's always a good choice. It does give housing and production, so that's just really nice. But I think maybe an entertainment complex would be a wise choice. I don't see anywhere... I guess with this city, there could be... Um, some combination of, uh, let's see, so where could we put maybe one of these diamonds? Um, hmm. If I tear up these bananas, I could do, let's see, wait, one, two, three, oh, hmm, not if this city is there. So then I think what I need to do, um, oh, I'm to sneeze, I think. So learn. So learn. Um, but uh, what was it saying? Yes. Uh, I need to put this theater square on that spot before I settle that city. Much in the same way that I need to put a um campus down north of Kumasi. I think I'm going to hold off on skin because I need to put uh, this. Oops. Uh, so then I want to tear up these bananas. 
and put this. And that way, we have this other city is able to get both those districts in together with skin and uh, to the races. Okay. Lacking in amenities, that's to be expected with such a big empire when everyone hates us. Oh, found a new continent. Interesting. Okay. 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 They did attack the catapult. But that's fine. That's fine. That's why I fortified it. Okay, well that hurt, but that's fine. You can just back this guy up. It's just trying to... Um, Honestly, scout around a little bit. See what there is up here. Okay, well, I know for a fact that this galley can't go that way be north because there are quadrimes. So I'm just going to send it off to the south. Off in this direction. The same way the other one went. Back. Go over there. Sir. Sir. Are you capable of not? My. <laughs> this archer. Okay, we're just going to get in here and sit, and same with this guy. Okay, this spearman will eventually get an upgrade, um, but not for another two turns. So we're going to move forward, 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 and forward. You can see here, ignoring the attacks on these forward units and moving them up to try to get this surround going. Someone's going to die, but it's okay. Really does not matter. Could not matter any less. But uh, this, this knight is a bit in my face, and I don't like it. And I can't really do much about it. Um, so I think this is what I should do. Yeah. Wow, I didn't die. Um, that's really bad. So I don't think, yeah, we can pillage this, but that doesn't heal. I think, I think I lose either way. Um, hmm. That stinks. Oh, well, let's move back. Maybe there is some... Oh. Right. He, is, he can move. He's, this is the road. That's fantastic. Okay. That's just dumb luck there. I'm That road being there, leading to this city. Whew. Incredible. So we do not have to... Uh, we don't have to mourn the loss of our man-at-arms here. Uh, that is very good. So we've got a pikeman almost on the front lines now. <clears throat> Our vampire's coming in. We've got this 
double wide column of units trying to funnel through a one gap space. This is that struggle that I was talking about before. Uh, it can be so difficult to actually get through and get a surround off, especially when they have yep, all these units in position. You can see somehow their army has gotten bigger at this point, which is kind of strange to me. Uh, but I mean, at this point, we've put a lot. We're putting a lot of pressure on, um, and this knight is trying to prevent us from swinging around. Um, but if I can manage to get a unit onto that tile where that archer is, it's essentially over. Um, oh, I didn't realize it could move that way. Okay, well, that stinks. I thought because of the, the hills that this, uh, this guy wouldn't be able to move, but clearly I was not correct. Let's see, so I think what I need to do, hmm, it's a tough call between, say, promoting um, and attacking in, just like hurling this unit at this knight to weaken it a little bit, because then we can move this guy up right away, and we can keep putting more and more pressure on and get a little bit more damage in, but I think what I need to do is heal. I think that is the correct call because we have the potential to soak up so much more damage. Um, also, we can pick up amphibious, which might help us get across this river. A lot of these guys have amphibious already. Um, so our crossbowmen took a hit here. Whoops. Crossbowmen took a hit here. I think we may be able to counter. Um, yeah. So we can kill like this, yep, and bring this catapult back in. That's basically a death blow. They have to focus the catapult now, which is really bad. Um, they don't want to be using their attacks on our catapults when we have these melee units with uh, siege towers surrounding them. That is not the ideal situation, which is ideal for us, of course. So we're just going to leave these guys sitting back here. This is uh, this is this is a little bit of a log jam, a little bit of a traffic jam going on. Um, let's see. So that is unfortunate, but it is what it is. We just got to get through these uh, these military units back here. And I mean, you know, when we, they can only attack with that cannon once per turn. So as long as uh, we don't lose our uh, siege tower. We should be fine. In fact, I'm going to move the Siege Tower back, just in case, since we only have the one there right now. Okay, well, this is really irritating how it's been moving like this, but I think we've finally gotten out of harm's way. So that's good. I'll just chill here. Let's actually create an escort with these. Get our triangle on and wait. Lupe won't make peace with us unless we pay him. These two won't trade me their luxuries, so my amenities are sinking. We're going to have knights soon. And those do hit pretty hard. I say hard. So, especially with all the hills, I think having knights is going to let us move more than one square at a time, or more than one hex at a time. It's going to matter. It's going to matter a lot. Um these other cities just doing a check-in right um didn't i want to buy a tile here so yes yes i did 
Oh, but that's tough because I want to promote. I really don't want to buy that tile. Um, so I guess we'll go for the we'll go for the entertainment complex there first. Um, yeah, I think that's the move. Builder anywhere. Let's buy a builder. Um, okay, well, Faith purchase a builder next turn. Monumentality OP. And let's go from there. Well, dang. Can't quite attack it. Oh, well, I don't need to. Um. Oh, it has iron, so he's never going to seed that. Got to take it from him. I mean, cutting off his iron supply, too, this is going to make a huge difference in terms of his, um, his ability to produce knights. So that's another reason why this is such a crucial capture. Hopefully we have the loyalty. Uh, I'm genuinely unsure if we'll have the loyalty to hold it for very long, um, but at the very least we can get it out of our hair for a while and take these walls down. So that's good. Oh, I'm not even on camera. Let's fix that. <laughs> I am here, yes, I am present. It's not a ghost speaking. Okay, this is good that that isn't about me. I was worried that was about me. <clears throat> so nobody cares that I took Toronto. Nice. Um, oh, people are mad at, uh, people are mad at Coupe now. That's good. Um, okay, well, Pikeman. Let's see what we what do we got going on here. Interesting. Uh, I think we just let this guy go down. Yeah, yes, you can see they had to attack the catapult here, um, which is fantastic for us. And yeah, we really want to push through here. So I think we attack and attack, so that we can start moving up. And, ooh, if that guy lives, he gets promoted, too. That's excellent. Uh, we definitely cannot move the Siege Tower here, because it might die. We have to move it here this time. Um, let's go to pass turn. Actually, let's swap these guys out. And we'll heal. Oh, yeah, he's got a horseman over there. Get desperate. Oh, I can hit it with a crossbow. Mm. Let's heal. Hitting it with a crossbow isn't going to do very much. Um, and so now we have a couple of pikemen at the back of the pack. But they will be able to help with the other cities, I think. I probably should split them up. Like, I should send one that way. I think that will be important. Ah, yes. See, he is now going to try to uh, kill me. But it's not going to work. I should probably kill him, honestly. Well, he's going to pillage that. Um, so yeah, let's, let's just build the city first. Alright, just uh, exploring around, you know, with those scouts. Got to figure out what is where. Um, wow, this, this, <laughs> okay, uh, you know, I have a unit, maybe I split a unit off. Mm, I could have sent a vampire up there, maybe I do, yeah, let's send a vampire up here. I think that's a good call. Because clearly, the single immortal is not going to be enough. Um, 
Oh no. Okay. Well, that's that galley is forfeit. We traded it for information. Let's see. Do I get to cross the river? The galley lived. Hmm. So, there's a dilemma here. It's a tough choice. Tough choice. But, I think I have to, I have to sacrifice our two, two brave men-at-arms here on the front line. Um, I think they, they, they must charge at the city of Halifax with the aid of the siege tower. That way, I can put a full health unit blocking off the river. I could heal here, but it wouldn't get me to full health. Oh, such a strong unit. Maybe I swap? But it dies. It dies. See, the problem is, if I improve here. I get one extra attack, and then I lose this tile. Um, if I attack and lose this unit, I do a little bit of damage, but this tile is freed, and at least I get to keep this tile by moving another unit onto it. I guess alternately, I could swap, but then I'm losing tempo. Then I have to shuffle this unit backwards, um, And that's not that great either. So is it worth the gain in tempo? Um, I guess is the question here. And in light of that, I think I'm definitely, at the very least, I'm going to be moving this Siege Tower forward this turn. So let's see what kind of damage we can do. It is actually fairly substantial damage that we could do. These are major victories against the town of Halifax, but it is important to remember we don't actually have... Um, Could also try to do something like this. We don't actually have. Um, so I think their their lives are for this. This one is going to die no matter what. Um, I don't. Oh wait, no. I can move it away. So I think what I need to do is back up with this guy. Back up with this guy. I need to move forward here. I need to attack with the catapult, which will draw fire. And I need to heal. I want to heal that man at arms. I don't think I can. Um, if I lose this tile, it's very, very bad. I, I fought hard to get that tile specifically. But I don't want to have this unit die for nothing when they have a heal available. So I don't want to swap with this, this unit here. Um, I suppose it might be worth it if this unit dies to the cannon to get another shot in with the catapult. So we could try to use this, this very powerful unit as fodder. I think we should and just hope that the city chooses to target the catapult instead. Um, they, it probably won't. It, it, I do not think it will. But it would be good if that were to happen. So we're going to play towards that potential, uh, potential huge win uh, for us. Um, so we're going to do a bunch of damage to this, this uh, horseman here. I don't know why it embarked. That seems kind of silly. Does. And move. Yeah. Okay, that seems right. A little bit of complicated movement there. 
did get it figured out. We've got another one of these now, so that's also very good. Um, and we'll heal this guy. Mm -hmm, that guy. That's really good. So let's go ahead and found this city. Fantastic. Um, and this city, we need... We're going to start with a water mill. Just get everything built a little bit faster. And from here, I can attack. Go ahead and kill that guy. Or at least make it a lot closer to death. Okay, so we'll just gun this guy down and um, have this vampire split off to go help. Oops. Okay, some empty snow. Ah. Uh, uh. Hmm. Dang. Okay, well, we learned a lot. So there's another continent. It's huge, and uh, it may even connect over here. We might even be on, like, a sort of Pangea situation, where there's a land bridge uh, on this side of the map over here. I don't know. My crossbowman died. I didn't expect that. Wow. Even coming from the water, it has that much attack? That's very surprising. Okay. Horsemen are strong. I wonder if it, um... 31 damage. Yeah, it must have gotten attacked by this. See, I feel like catapults shouldn't be able to attack and move at the same time, but sometimes they can. Sometimes they can move and attack, and I don't understand why. It's confusing. Well, I guess, uh, you know, we took a pretty big loss there. We took a pretty big loss there. That was, uh, that was tragic. So, uh, let's have a moment of silence. A moment of silence for our grievous loss of that, uh, defensive crossbowman. The tragedy was... <laughs> 